Piers Morgan, 57, took to Twitter and hit out at Prince Harry, 37, and the furor surrounding Series 5 of The Crown. The Duke of Sussex, who has a deal with Netflix for an upcoming docu-series, has previously defended The Crown, saying last year that it was obviously fiction. The uncensored host has since taken to social media and claimed Harry despises people detailing intrusive information about his family but suggested it's fine when it's his employer doing it. Piers took to the micro-blogging site and addressed the recent furor surrounding the new series which is set to air on the streaming platform next month. He tweeted to his 7.9 million followers, Prince Harry's silence over the crown furor says it all. The talk TV presenter went on to claim it's fine for himself, his wife Meghan Markle or his employer to speak out. Harry was fiercely defended by royal fans who disagreed with Piers' stance. Harry commented, Harry has already been asked and said it's fictional and only loosely based on the truth what more do you want? Has the rest of the family spoke out? Jav wrote, give it up Piers. Zara added, it's a drama TV program based on events. It's not a documentary. And he tweeted, Prince William and Kate haven't said anything either but OFC you go straight to Harry and Meghan. Sick, the new episodes cover some of the royal family's most tumultuous years in the 1990s, including the bitter divorce between Prince Charles, played by Dominic West, and Princess Diana, played by Elizabeth Debicki. Royal commentator and expert Kenzie Schofield responded to Christo on Talk TV amid claims Harry had been silent about the new series of The Crown. Kinsey claimed the Duke of Sussex had no pull at Netflix. James Jordan issues urgent plea as family left homeless for Christmas latest Lorraine praises Eddie Izzard for defensive statement amid labor race politics Billy Connolly delights fans in rare sighting at Glasgow restaurant pictures, this is how you can tell that Harry has little to no flex at Netflix because he did say he hoped the crown would stop at him, Kinsey remarked. He has said that for years. He said that to Angel 11 years ago. It shows that he has little to no pull at Netflix and ultimately he is their employee because they pay him. He can't tell them how to run their business. Piers' tweet comes after well-known faces, including Dame Judi Dench, have criticized the latest series of The Crown. In a letter to The Times, the actor said Netflix seems willing to blur the lines between historical accuracy and crude sensationalism. Judy, who received her damnhood from Queen Elizabeth II in 1998, has slammed the show, for its sensationalism. She was responding to comments made by former Prime Minister, Sir John Major, in which he called the show a barrel load of malicious nonsense. While she initially praised the series, the actress was fearful as it now catches up to the present day and the show was in danger of convincing viewers that dramatization was a wholly true version of history. Netflix previously responded to the show's disclaimer complaints in a statement that read, The Crown has always been presented as a drama based on historical events. Series 5 is a fictional dramatization, imagining what could have happened behind closed doors during a significant decade for the royal family, one that has been scrutinized and well documented by journalists, biographers and historians.